Welcome to my channel Valerie Classes. Today I am going to teach you plant tissue culture. Focus on that. Plant tissue culture. What does it mean? It means that you are creating a plant, a plant from a single cell in the culture medium. First, friends, you have to know the history, how the plant culture started. Friends, first there were the two scientists. Avel and it and Hani. Who initiated this process? Then after it was carried out by White, who successfully made a tomato plant with its root cell as culture medium. Friends, this was how a deployed plant created. But friends, you are you would be surprised to know that haploid plants could also be created and it could be duplicated or it could be deployed. How? It was initiated by Goa and Maheshwari. Friends, these two scientists made a revolution in the plant tissue culture. They created a haploid culture. You definitely know that where does this haploid cell came from. Friends, this could def definitely would be the anther or the germ cells or the pollen grains you could say as it is a plant. As it is a plant. Friends, but the two hormones that you can see here these two hormones are the key rule factor or the important factor in the plant tissue culture and these two, about these two hormones Miller and, and Scott told these two hormones carry an important role friends it was all about history now plant culture what does it mean? Friends, the part that you excise from a plant to grow another plant or a group of plant, this part is called explant. It applies to all plants. You could excise a tissue or a cell from any part. Betterly, it is excised from the meristematic tissue because you know that the apical meristem is that tissue from where if you excise a cell or a tissue it is disease free or virus free because virus never could attack the axial part, apical part that's why you should use or create the axial part culture friends first you have to know the culture medium what should be the culture medium what nutrients should be the content in the culture medium friends culture medium Culture medium really means that the medium in which the cell or the tissue is growing so that it could grow in a whole plant. This culture medium should be rich in nutrients. It could be liquid, semi-solid or solid. Liquid could be the coconut milk. Semi-solid means it could be gelatin and solid could be agar broadly or generally it is plant tissue culture is classified in a two way that is a first one is callus and second one is suspension culture callus means a single unorganized undifferentiated tissue which is grown is a culture medium and sub suspension culture means that there are packets of small tissue or cells many cells in a culture medium these are the two ways and first one I will give you the account of callus friends it's a tissue or a group of undifferentiated tissue you can say it grows to a plant how it grows the processes are 
first suppose this is a nutrient nutrient medium this is the x plant you can go through the two ways you can create a callus if you create it or the suspension and then after both can create a plant friends first how is the nutrient medium made rich of it should be basically made rich of the oxygen and cytokinin basically oxygen used is 24d that is 24 dichlorophenyl acetic acid and the cytokinin that is benzylamine pyrrole friends the oxygen and cytokinins are the two key hormones that are used in this if you increase the cytokinin ratio, ratio then the shoot of the plant is generated and if you increase the oxygen ratio then the root is generated first we have to make the diagram at the back program earlier this is the plant tissue or the cell you could say cell also called x plant callus it is just like a cyclic way cyclic path it carries and again just you can join it friends this whole process is carried in a nutrient medium and you have to study that nutrient medium should be replaced in a once in a week why should it be replaced it is because this plant is or the plant cell is growing and if it is growing respiring respiring sorry it is just excreting some waste products which are aggregating in this nutrient medium and this should be carried out or sended out so that the so that the plant could grow better yield and if you not just make the excrete patch out then the plant will be deformed or defected or would not grow it would not be able to grow so it is a process a process that is subculturing is employed it means that once in a week you should replace the nutrient medium that you are using and this is a very much important process friends this cell when grows requires some extra nutrient other nutrients as well these two hormones are not you can say that they are not all things they are something but not the all things it should be given coconut milk other minerals inorganic salts they are all are essential nutrient for it they are they continues to grow and they form a false embryo or embryo you can embryo what does embryo means i'm going to say embryo it means that a embryo like structure that is formed after reproduction embryo like structure friends as it continues to grow it develops shoot roots in the same in the culture medium and these shoots roots are growing and the plants that are growing in a culture medium they carry some variations which are called some clonal variation as it grows it may be some variations which is called some clonal again some clonal variations and if it is not having any variation you can also give it some mutagens just to bring out some variations although it may carry some variation as well earlier this variation made it superior to grow or make it this is free of growing betterly growing after it it is given that environment so that it could sustain in a adverse environment as well and that environment giving is called hardening means it could if it is 
to make a temperature resistant variety then it should be given a slow increasing temperature as well first 10 degree 20 degree 30 so that it could better develop a resistance against some temperature more temperature it could given some chemicals so that it become resistant to that chemicals could be given some pesticides increase the pesticide value so that it could make resistant about it the pesticides after giving all that treatment means after the process of hardening as it grows or much longer after the optimum growth it is transferred to the field where it grows into a big plant big plant friends what is the advantage of plant tissue culture it could grow more plants more plants may have and have some same characters or some common variations variations you know that a group of organisms which are similar to their parents are called clone and the individual one is called ramet after all the process it grows into plant and you are just growing the advantage has already been said that it will increase the number if suppose there is a interesting fact suppose that a plant is going to extinct it is not getting the better condition so that it could survive on earth you got some part of the plant suppose it may be bark or a leaf as well you have excised the part explant explant and now you are able to grow it in a medium and grow to a whole plant you can pre preserve it after preserving you could also supply it to the government you you are easily benefit or you can get some benefits also this is some other things out of syllabus but here after all that process you can generate plant friends first up now you are going to be given some important points that is which part are better to grow in a culture medium which plant which parts to be grown in culture medium this could be plants whole part are able to regenerate themselves all they are 30 percent they could generate whole plant from a single cell and basically the breeders are using if they are if they are carrying the process of hybridization they are pretty much commonly found that the plant plant seed in a hybrid one is not growing because of some factors like the embryo is not matured like the seed coat is too hard to break or the temperature is not the optimum then it could be created in a subculture medium it could be generated the the embryo also could be carried out and it could be generated in a nutrient medium and to a whole plant as well you can excise the ovary or the other parts everything you can do on it you who if you bring the anther it would be carrying the anther wall and the anther and the pollen grains microspore as well if you bring this you, in a culture then you would find that you have got haploid and diploid culture both culture it is pretty much asked in the medical exams that from where that the haploid culture comes or the diploid one comes the diploid one comes from the anther wall and the haploid ones come from the microspores that are present in the anther excised as explained and all the factors 
all the terms that I made you to learn are all these. Thank you friends, thank you for watching.